Today, I'm gonna to show you how we can extract hundreds and even thousands of leads and LinkedIn profiles from Google for free using NAN. So how this automation works is I basically go on over to Google here and we can add in different search filters for our site LinkedIn URL here. So I have things like chief product officer in the United States for the automotive industry. And you can make this URL as complex as you want with any kind of search filters, but then we can just take this Google URL that we get here. We'll paste it into our edit fields right here. We'll determine what page we want. I'm going to say page one to start with. And then on a brand new Google sheet here, if we run this workflow, you'll see it'll update our sheet with our URLs. And if we change this to page two here, and if I kind of get this ready, I'll test this workflow and show you it adds the URLs to the page. And we can do this for every page that we want until there's no more people left to scrape. So that's and I'm gonna show you how to build in this video. And all these people in this list are people that are chief product officers in the automotive industry and also in the United States. So exactly the same search filters that we were looking for. And we can do this for as many results that come up in our Google search results. And now that you know how it works, let's get into building this automation. So I'm over on NAN here on a local setup workflow. If you wanna know how you can run NAN locally for free, you can check out my other video where I go through basically everything you need to know about NAN and how to use it. But I'm actually running this on my own local instance. So it's completely self-hosted and completely free. We're just gonna start this workflow off with a manual submission here because we're gonna run this every time for every page. If we come into Google here, we can actually search for LinkedIn profiles only directly on Google. And then we can use this Google query here to then scrape all of these profiles and then put them into a list. Kind of how this scraper is going to work and we can use NAN to automate the process of scraping this so we can just go through all the pages and get all the data in an Excel file for us. So you see here if we type in site colon linkedin.com slash in slash this starter URL here will basically allow us to filter for only LinkedIn URLs. It's kind of how we can query Google that have a linkedin.com URL and then if we want to query this what we can do is then just chief AI officer like that and now we're only going to get LinkedIn URLs that are chief AI officers. So if we come into here, we have Jeff Bordeaux, who looks like to be the chief AI officer at Dell here. And we can add as many queries as we want into this. So if we want to add like United States, we can add that in here and it will bring up only people in the United States automotive. We can add only people that are chief AI officers at automotive companies here. Chief product officer at any automotive company. So you'll probably get some more search results for this. You can see there's around 2,360 results for this query here. But if we take a look at this copied URL here, if I view this real quickly here, and then we can add in, I believe if we remove this IP at the end here, and then put a start equals, let's just say 10. This will give us the next 10 results from the first page. So it actually starts at zero and then goes by 10, 20, 30, 40 for each page, starting with zero. So if we take this new URL here and we come into here, we'll get the page two of these 2,360 results. And now what we can do with this is we can actually use this URL here and we can have a way to automatically build these URLs based on the page number and then automatically scrape it, put all those URLs into one CSV file. So let's take this URL here. This will be our base URL that we're going to scrape. And if we head back over to NAN, I'm gonna make an HTTP node here. I'm actually going to make it the first page URL here and put that in. And if we test this, we're going to get actually the returned string of everything on this page here. And if we copy all of this data here, and if we kind of parse through this return text, you can see we actually get all the URLs for all the people that are on the page for that query. So you can see we get 10 URLs here for the 10 people that are on each page. So to continue on, instead of putting in this URL like it is right here, let's actually make a, another step here with an edit field that we can then use this URL and then add and change our pages pretty easily. So I'm gonna make a new one here called link and I'm gonna make this value just the regular base URL. And then I'm gonna add a page number here and this is gonna be a number and I'm gonna call it one. Right, so now when we test this step, we'll get 
our link and our page here. What we're gonna wanna do is just gonna use some kind of trickery is we're gonna wanna take this information here and kind of build this into our own custom node that makes our custom link. I'm gonna use this NAN assistant unofficial here and I'm gonna paste in the node and I'm gonna say, can you make a custom JS node that takes the link URL and then makes a paginated version of it with a start equals zero for each page, start equals 10 to be page two, start equals 20 is page three and so on. Return one new link with the changes for the given page number. So give us some JavaScript code we can run here. Let's test this out. I'm gonna copy this code, head back over here. I'm gonna type in code and let's just paste this in here and let's give this a run. What are we working with? URL is not defined. I'm just gonna copy this error here and then paste it back into here. I'm gonna say, can you fix this and give me the node in JSON that I can paste into my workflow? Okay, so we have our new node here. I'll copy this node, come back into here. I'll paste this one in and let's see if this one works. So if I test this step, look at that. Isn't that nuts? So with just a quick change, we now have our new node here, which allows us to change the link whenever we enter in a new page. So now if we go to this link here, we're on the first page. And now if I were to test this step on value number two and then run the script again, and let's paste the link in here, we're on page two, look at that. So now all we have to do to get each page is just come into here, change the number, run the script. You can have some kind of loop function to do this for yourself. There's really no good way to do it in NAN. But now that we have our link, we can then use our request here and then we'll come back into our last node here and then we'll replace this with our new link that we just got from our last step here. And now we have our string of all of the URLs in this kind of JSON format here that we need to go through to get. So now let's do this. Let's take this node here and then let's say this. Let's say, can you make a JSON JS node that takes the data return from this page and filters out the string for any LinkedIn slash in URLs and puts them into a list? All right, awesome, awesome. Let's take this now and we'll come back over here. We have our new function drag this over. Let's check this out. Okay, we got an error. I'm just going to copy the error back over and just say fix this. I'm not really too sure what the error is here. The data variable is not an array. So I'm just going to put in the error back in and then put the response that we got uh, and then say the variables look like this. Go through this data and find all the URLs. All right, so now it adjusts the function that will work in my case. So I kind of explained the context of what I'm doing a little bit more. Yeah, let's give this a shot. Let's see if it works. Awesome. Awesome. So we have our new node here. I'll delete the old one and let's check this out. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? So now we get all of the URLs for everyone on the page, but they're kind of messy in a way. Like if we were to copy this and open it, I don't think it'll actually work. Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to say this a little bit more. I get URLs like this. Can you remove everything after the first this or that? So we basically want this section of the URL to be gone because if we were to take everything before the and symbol here and then paste this into LinkedIn, we would get the correct profile. So we have our new node here. I'll copy this over. Let's test this one out. I'll just remove this one for now, just in case we need it again. Look at that. Now we have a very clean list of LinkedIn URLs from our page. So if I were to copy this one, check it out again here, we have our new LinkedIn URL and they all work and they're all based off the parameters we got in our last one. So if I wanted to, I can come into here, type value three, test the workflow, new people on this page here. And I think what might be the issue with it only giving nine instead of 10 is it might actually be, yeah, you'll see here, it, there's a UK option right here. So then we might have to add in some filters here to add in the UK LinkedIn URLs as well. So let's actually do that. How can you include the UK LinkedIn and the FR LinkedIn? I know I've seen the France one in there and we'll add these ones into our list as well for all the European viewers out there. So let's get our new node here. I'll copy this one, paste it over. And now if we test this step, ah, see it, put it all into one URL. Hmm, okay, let's, let's do another clean up here. It, so it did bring up the right URL. Say, so can you put this into one list of URLs? Don't split it by country. All right. So we have our new node here. I'll copy this. 
Awesome, there we go. So now we get all 10 URLs and they can be from any subdomain country URL. Perfect, so now we can take this information and now we can just add it to wherever we want. So then I'm gonna add a Google Sheet to send over these URLs we get from this list. I have a Google Sheet right here that I just made on my account and I have the URLs column set up right here. I've gone ahead and I've already added my credentials. I've added my document by my ID. The document ID is just this part of the URL right here. Then I've found the sheet. I'm use sheet one map automatic and choose the URLs column here. Now, once I have my URLs, just click on test step. And then if all goes well, it'll add them to this right here. Look at that. So now we have our URLs. A little bit of a formatting issue right here, but it's all right for now. If I remove this right here, delete all these, let's just test this out and see how fast we can get it to go. I'm gonna start with page one here, page two, test it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And there we go. If we head on over to our Google Sheets, we now have a massive CSV file with a ton of LinkedIn URLs, all based on the parameters that we gave for our Google search link. Isn't that wild? So this is basically the automation right here. I'll have a link probably somewhere down in the description to where you can get this exact automation. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. It really, really, really does help me out. Also, if you want to work with me in any AI automations or scraping projects, make sure to book a free call with me down in the description below. And we can talk about all that good stuff there. But if you want to learn more on how to use NAN, check out this video here where I show you how to make custom functions inside NAN with a little chatbot to do some really magical things things and automations. So I'll see you guys over there.